Hi everyone, it's Linda Rayner. So we're right in the midst of the fall season. And what I find is during this time of year, there's a lot more self-reflection that takes place. Because the sky is grayer and the weather's colder, we end up spending a lot more time indoors. And that means spending a lot more time by ourselves, with ourselves, and having to face our own inner thoughts and emotions. And what better way to spend that time by yourself than to really get connected and centered with yourself, with who you truly are. If you're someone that really wants to eventually go after your dreams and do what it is that you feel is right for you, you really need to get connected to who you are. You may think on the outside you know what that person is or who that person is, but you don't really know everything until you start to gaze inwards and really dig deep. So if you're someone who has a regular schedule, you're probably getting up in the morning, rushing out the door, heading to the office. In order to have a truly successful and productive day, we need to set aside time each and every morning to get in touch with ourselves. And that is what I call a morning ritual. So for me, a morning ritual involves doing a mini yoga session plus a mini meditation session. And from there, setting an affirmation or intention, stating it out loud for how I want my day to go. So I may say something like, I'm looking forward to having a positive, productive, and calm day where I'm consistently connected to my inner self. The point is to have a ritual where you are taking care of you before you need to take care of anyone else or anything else. What a morning routine really helps you to do is it really guides your actions. It makes you become more deliberate and calm with what it is that you're faced to do. It'll guide the way that you work, the way you think, the way you act all throughout the day. Honestly, I know this works because I had a life where I never used to do anything like this. I never took the time to look after myself in the mornings. And as a result, my days were constantly all about staying above water. A lot of people think that a morning ritual means you have to spend an hour of your time doing yoga or an hour meditation, but honestly, it doesn't take that much time. You don't need to spend more than 10 or 15 minutes. So you can start to ask yourself, what are one or two non-negotiable things, activities that I can do each and every morning where I will be more calm, relaxed, and productive? Make sure that whatever it is you choose to do each and every day, that it helps you to get aligned. It helps you to get connected. It helps you to guide your day and how you're going to be. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it to your friends. If you have friends who are struggling to go through their days, maybe this will help them. And I'd also love to hear from you. If you have a morning ritual or morning routine that you follow and that you know works for you, then please tell me about it in the comments below, or you can head over to lindarainer.com, sign up for my newsletter, and we can keep in touch that way. I'll upload my next video next Wednesday. All right, stay strong, stay positive, and I'll see you next week. Bye.